Hey everyone, this is Charles. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to talk about an issue that was brought up in the comments section of an older video of mine about installing EvenG Community Edition onto Google Cloud Platform. Now recently, this functionality did break and that's because Google removed support for Ubuntu 16.04, which is the only supported version at the moment that EvenG Community will run on. The Pro Edition will run on higher versions, but for the time being, the free community edition will not. Well, there is a workaround for that, and so I wanted to show you how that works in this video. So using this video plus the older video, we'll still show you how to get access to that free cloud platform and how to run Eve NG inside of that. Let's jump in and take a look. So this particular tutorial is going to pick up at the point where we've already got our Google Cloud account set up and we're ready to create some VM instances. So if you have questions about how you actually get access to the free trial portion of your Google Cloud platform, you can go and check out the link in the video description to see that entire video. I'm not gonna cover everything again here, but I am going to cover the corrected commands that are needed now. So essentially what's happened is, Ubuntu has dropped support for version 16.04, and that's why that was removed from Google Cloud Platform. That was the image inside of Google Cloud that supported nested virtualization. And nested virtualization is necessary if we want to run Eve and G on this platform. There is a workaround, however, for this problem. So let's first open up our Cloud Shell. You can see the logo here at the top. If we click Activate Cloud Shell, it's going to open up our Shell console. And first, let's run the command gcloud compute images list. And this is going to return a list of all the available images that we have to build on the Google Cloud platform. And if we scroll up through these, these are listed alphabetically. We're going to see the Ubuntu section. Let me get up above our Windows and our SQL sections. And you'll see some of these Ubuntu builds that we have here. Now, you'll notice that missing is our original Ubuntu 16.04. We do have a full-blown 18.04 and 20.04. However, neither of these work at the moment with EVNG Community Edition. We need 16.04. Now, the fix for this is there is still an Ubuntu minimal build. You see this listed here. Ubuntu minimal is a smaller, more lightweight version of Ubuntu that's meant for mass deployment. It's designed for something that's not necessarily being interacted with in a desktop manner. So this will still work for EvenG Community Edition. This is the VM instance that we want to build from. So let's go back down to the bottom of our shell here. And I have some commands already created on my clipboard and I'm going to paste these in. Now I will reference these in the video description. I'll pin those down below so that you have these actual commands. Now one thing I'll point out, you'll notice that the image family is still Ubuntu-OS-Cloud. This time though, instead of the command that we see in the EvenG cookbook, which is Ubuntu-1604-LTS, this one is ubuntu minimal dash 1604 dash LTS. That's the image that we have available inside of Google Cloud. So we do want to use that. You'll also see that I already have my zone listed in here, US dash East one dash B. So you do want to go ahead and figure out which Google Cloud zone is closest to you. I'll also put a link to this documentation in the video description where you can find that. And in fact, if I pull up the Google Cloud documentation here, You'll see they have available regions and zones. You can scroll through these. You can select a particular location. For me, I've selected North America, and then I can go down and see all of these zones and find what might be closest to me. In my case, I'm using US-East1-B for my zone. In your case, you're gonna wanna go through here and choose a zone that's closest to you, whether that's North America, whether that's maybe Europe, and then you can find a location that's closest to you. That's gonna give you the best performance. And whatever the zone is that you choose, the zone that's listed here under the zones column, that's what you actually want to put into your command line after zone equals. Again, in my case, that is US-East1-B. I'm gonna hit enter, and this is going to begin creating my compute instance. This will take a little bit of time, so we'll let that work, and then we'll jump back in when it's finished. So as you can see, now we're all finished up. 
We've been given an internal IP and an external IP. I'm going to paste the next command in there. And this command is simply going to stop the image that's currently running so that we can actually tell Google Cloud we want this to be a nested VM. So again, this will take a little bit of time. We'll let that work. Now our disk image is stopped. So let's paste in the next command. And this is the command that's actually going to enable nested virtualization. You'll see that this points to our temp image base. We see my source disk zone listed here. Again, you want to make sure that is the same as you used previously when you created this. Everything else should be the same, but you do want to change the zone to match your particular command. Let's hit enter and let this work. Now with that complete, we have a new disk image created with nested virtualization enabled. Now we want to create a new instance with the image that we just created, with the new nested VM image that we just made. I'll paste in the next command. Again, make sure that your zone here matches your particular zone that you happen to have created this in originally. This is a nested VM. You'll see that the machine type is N1 and it has four cores and the boot disk size is 100 gig. Now, when I hit enter, I will get a warning letting me know that the size is under 200 gig. We might have poor performance. In our case, that's totally okay. We'll let this run as well. And that completes fairly quickly and we're all done. If we go into our top search bar and we look for our VM instances, we can go ahead and close this cloud shell out just to make a little more room here. And you'll see that now we have a nested VM listed here. It is up and running. So we can click the SSH button and that will open a new browser window that will SSH into this nested virtual machine. So let's let this connect. And once that connects, you'll see that we are in Ubuntu 16.04. Again, you'll notice that this is the minimal package. We have a message letting us know to restore this content. You can run the unminimize command. Now I will say that if you do that, I have tested this, it will break this and it will not work while installing EVNG. So let's get root access by saying sudo dash I, and then we're going to paste in the same command that we used previously. This references an EVNG install script that's on the EVNG repository. We'll hit enter. And this again, will take quite a bit of time to run. So I'm going to let this work. And once it's all finished up, we'll jump back in. There shouldn't be any options that pop up that we need to confirm or to interact with. So we'll let this finish up and then we'll come back. Okay, as you can see, we are now at the end of our EVNG installation. We have the exit message. So let's say apt update. It's going to pull down some updates for us. And apt upgrade to get those installed. We'll say Y for yes, we do want to continue. Again, this will take a little bit of time. So we'll let this finish up. And after some time, now we are all completed. Installation finished, no errors reported. So let's say shut down. We will say dash R to do a restart. And we will say now it's going to disconnect our SSH session. Totally expected for that to happen. So we can go ahead and close this out and we'll give this maybe 20 or 30 seconds and then we can reconnect via SSH. So if we click our SSH connect button, it will again open up a browser window for us that will connect us into this VM. This time we should see the Eve NG welcome screen or the setup screen. And we do. So that's good. From here, we want to say control C. You'll notice that opens up a console at the bottom. We can say sudo minus I to get root access. And then we're all set from here. You can follow the original tutorial through the rest of this video. So let's just go through a little bit of that. We'll type the root password. We'll repeat that. We can leave the host name as even G DNS doesn't matter. In this example, we can leave DHCP enabled. NTP isn't important to me. I'm just going to hit enter. We want to say direct connect. We'll hit enter. And after just a moment, it will disconnect us again. So let's close this SSH window out. So we've disconnected from our SSH. Now we're still in our VM instances area. We see our nested VM is up and running. If I scroll over in my particular window, because it's a little smaller than maybe yours might be, you'll see the external IP address for this machine listed here. We can copy that to the clipboard. I'm going to go to a new browser tab. I'm going to paste that in. 
And this takes us right to the EVE NG console as we would expect. So you can see that this does work on Ubuntu 16.04 minimal. Now I will say if you haven't already gone through the original tutorial and previously set up firewall rules, this will not initially connect when you go to this public IP address. You do need to alter those firewall rules. Again, those are covered in the original video. In my case, I already have those in place, so that's why it works right away for me. So if you're not getting connectivity, make sure you have the correct firewall rules in place. Again, reference the previous video that I've linked here in the video description for the remainder of that tutorial. I would definitely suggest you go and check that out for all of the rest of the complete steps for getting this up and running in Google Cloud. This video only addresses the updated commands that we need in our shell. Everything else will stay the same as far as firewall rules and getting your Google Cloud account set up for the free trial access that you have available to you. That's all for now. If you'd like to support this channel, please consider subscribing, leaving a comment, or sharing this video with someone you think may enjoy it. That's the best way you can support what I'm doing. If you'd like to support the content I'm creating even more, please consider checking out the membership links found in the video description. I hope you found this content useful, and I want to thank you sincerely for watching.